Tajikistan, officially the Republic of Tajikistan, is a mountainous landlocked sovereign country in Central Asia. With an estimated 8 million people in 2013, it is the 98th most populous country and with an area of 143,100 square kilometers. It is the 96th largest country in the world. It is bordered by Afghanistan to the south, Uzbekistan to the west, Kyrgyzstan to the north, and China to the east. Pakistan lies to the south separated by the narrow Wakhan Corridor. Traditional homelands of Tajik people included present-day Tajikistan, Afghanistan and Uzbekistan. The territory that now constitutes Tajikistan was previously home to several ancient cultures, including the city of Sarism of the Neolithic and the Bronze Age, and was later home to kingdoms ruled by people of different faiths and cultures including the Oxus civilization, Andronovo culture, Buddhism, Nestorian Christianity, Zoroastrianism, and Manichaeism. The area has been ruled by numerous empires and dynasties, including the Achaemenid Empire, Sasanian Empire, Hephthalite Empire, Samanid Empire, Mongol Empire, Timurid Dynasty, and the Russian Empire. As a result of the breakup of the Soviet Union, Tajikistan became an independent nation in 1991. A civil war was fought almost immediately after independence, lasting from 1992 to 1997. Since the end of the war, newly established political stability and foreign aid have allowed the country's economy to grow. Tajikistan is a presidential republic consisting of four provinces. Most of Tajikistan's 8 million people belong to the Tajik ethnic group, who speak Tajik, a dialect of modern Persian, although many people also speak Russian. Mountains cover more than 90% of the country. It has a transition economy that is dependent on aluminium and cotton production. Its economy is the 126th largest in the world in terms of purchasing power and 136th largest in terms of nominal GDP. Name Tajikistan means the land of the Tajiks. The suffix stan is Persian for place of or country and Tajik is most likely the name of a pre-Islamic tribe. According to the Library of Congress's 1997 country study of Tajikistan, it is difficult to definitively state the origins of the word Tajik because the term is embroiled in 20th century political disputes about whether Turkic or Iranian peoples were the original inhabitants of Central Asia. History Early history cultures in the region have been dated back to at least the 4th millennium BCE, including the Bronze Age Bactria Marjana archaeological complex, the Andronovo cultures and the pro-urban site of Sarism, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The earliest recorded history of the region dates back to about 500 BC when much, if not all, of modern Tajikistan was part of the Achaemenid Empire. Some authors have also suggested that in the 7th and 6th century BCE parts of modern Tajikistan, including territories in the Zia of Shan Valley, formed part of Cambodges before it became part of the Achaemenid Empire. After the region's conquest by Alexander the Great it became part of the Greco-Bactrian Kingdom, a successor state of Alexander's empire. Northern Tajikistan was part of Sogdia, a collection of city-states which was overrun by Scythians and new Aji nomadic tribes around 150 BCE. The Silk Road passed through the region and following the expedition of Chinese explorer Zhang Qian during the reign of woody commercial relations between Han China and Sogdiana flourished. Sogdians played a major role in facilitating trade and also worked in other capacities, as farmers, carpet weavers, glassmakers, and woodcarvers. The Kushan Empire, a collection of Uyghur tribes, took control of the region in the 1st century CE and ruled until the 4th century CE during which time Buddhism, Nestorian Christianity, Zoroastrianism, and Manichaeism were all practiced in the region. Later the Hephthalite Empire, a collection of nomadic tribes, moved into the region and Arabs brought Islam in the early 8th century. 
Central Asia continued in its role as a commercial crossroads linking China, the steppes to the north, and the Islamic heartland. The Samanid Empire supplanted the Arabs and enlarged the cities of Samarkand and Bukhara which became the cultural centers of Tajiks. It was later conquered by the Tibetan Empire and Chinese from 650 to 680 only to be reconquered by the Arabs in 710. The Kara Khanid Khanate conquered Transoxania and ruled between 999-1211. Their arrival in Transoxania signaled a definitive shift from Iranian to Turkic predominance in Central Asia. But gradually the Karakhanids became assimilated into the Perso-Arab Muslim culture of the region. During Genghis Khan's invasion of Khwarezmir in the early 13th century the Mongol Empire took control over nearly all of Central Asia. In less than a century the Mongol Empire broke up and modern Tajikistan came under the rule of the Chagatai Khanate. Tamerlane created the Timurid dynasty and took control of the region in the 14th century. Modern Tajikistan fell under the rule of the Khanate of Bukhara during the 16th century and with the empire's collapse in the 18th century it came under the rule of both the Emirate of Bukhara and Khanate of Kokand. The Emirate of Bukhara remained intact until the 20th century but during the 19th century, for the second time in world history, a European power began to conquer parts of the region. Russian Tajikistan Russian imperialism led to the Russian Empire's conquest of Central Asia during the late 19th century's imperial era. Between 1864 and 1885 Russia gradually took control of the entire territory of Russian Turkestan, the Tajikistan portion of which had been controlled by the Emirate of Bukhara and Khanate of Kokand. Russia was interested in gaining access to a supply of cotton and in the 1870s attempted to switch cultivation in the region from grain to cotton. By 1885 Tajikistan's territory was either ruled by the Russian Empire or its vassal state, the Emirate of Bukhara. Nevertheless Tajiks felt little Russian influence. During the late 19th century the Jadidists established themselves as an Islamic social movement throughout the region. Although the Jadidists were pro-modernization and not necessarily anti-Russian the Russians viewed the movement as a threat. Russian troops were required to restore order during uprisings against the Khanate of Kokand between 1910 and 1913. Further violence occurred in July 1916 when demonstrators attacked Russian soldiers in Kujand over the threat of forced conscription during World War I. Despite Russian troops quickly bringing Kujan back under control, clashes continued throughout the year in various locations in Tajikistan. Soviet Tajikistan After the Russian Revolution of 1917 guerrillas throughout Central Asia, known as Basmachi, waged a war against Bolshevik armies in a futile attempt to maintain independence. The Bolsheviks prevailed after a four-year war, in which mosques and villages were burned down and the population heavily suppressed. Soviet authorities started a campaign of secularization, practicing Islam, Judaism, and Christianity was discouraged and repressed, and many mosques, churches, and synagogues were closed. As a consequence of the conflict and Soviet agriculture policies, Central Asia, Tajikistan included, suffered a famine that claimed many lives. In 1924, the Tajik Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic was created as a part of Uzbekistan. But in 1929 the Tajik Soviet Socialist Republic was made a separate constituent republic. However the predominantly ethnic Tajik cities of Samarkand and Bukhara remained in the Uzbek SSR. Between 1927 and 1934, collectivization of agriculture and a rapid expansion of cotton production took place, especially in the southern region. Soviet collectivization policy brought violence against peasants and forced resettlement occurred throughout Tajikistan. Consequently, some peasants fought collectivization and revived the Basmachi movement. 
some small-scale industrial development also occurred during this time along with the expansion of irrigation infrastructure. Two rounds of Soviet purges directed by Moscow resulted in the expulsion of nearly 10,000 people from all levels of the Communist Party of Tajikistan. Ethnic Russians were sent in to replace those expelled and subsequently Russians dominated party positions at all levels, including the top position of first secretary. Between 1926 and 1959 the proportion of Russians among Tajikistan's population grew from less than 1% to 13%. Babo John Gafarov, Tajikistan's first secretary of the Communist Party of Tajikistan from 1946 to 1956 was the only Tajikistani politician of significance outside of the country during the Soviet era. He was followed in office by Tursun Uljabayev, Jabor Rasulov, and Ramon Nabayev. Tajiks began to be conscripted into the Soviet Army in 1939 and during World War II around 260,000 Tajik citizens fought against Germany, Finland and Japan. Between 60,000 and 120,000 of Tajikistan's 1,530,000 citizens were killed during World War II. Following the war and Stalin's reign attempts were made to further expand the agriculture and industry of Tajikistan. During 1957-58 Nikita Khrushchev's Virgin Lands campaign focused attention on Tajikistan, where living conditions Education and industry lagged behind the other Soviet republics. In the 1980s, Tajikistan had the lowest household saving rate in the USSR, the lowest percentage of households in the two top per capita income groups, and the lowest rate of university graduates per 1,000 people. By the late 1980s Tajik nationalists were calling for increased rights. Real disturbances did not occur within the republic until 1990. The following year, the Soviet Union collapsed, and Tajikistan declared its independence. Independence the nation almost immediately fell into a civil war that involved various factions fighting one another. These factions were often distinguished by clan loyalties. More than 500,000 residents fled during this time because of persecution, increased poverty and better economic opportunities in the West or in other former Soviet republics. Emma Mali Rahman came to power in 1992, defeating former Prime Minister Abjamal Abdullah Janov in a November presidential election with 58% of the vote. The elections took place shortly after the end of the war, and Tajikistan was in a state of complete devastation. The estimated dead numbered over 100,000. Around 1.2 million people were refugees inside and outside of the country. In 1997, a ceasefire was reached between Rahman and opposition parties under the guidance of Gerd D. Merim, special representative to the Secretary General, a result widely praised as a successful United Nations peacekeeping initiative. The ceasefire guaranteed 30% of ministerial positions would go to the opposition. Elections were held in 1999 though they were criticized by opposition parties and foreign observers as unfair and Rahman was re-elected with 98% of the vote. Elections in 2006 were again won by Rahman and he began his third term in office. Several opposition parties boycotted the 2006 election and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe criticized it although observers from the Commonwealth of Independent States claimed the elections were legal and transparent. Rahman's administration came under further criticism from the OSCE in October 2010 for its censorship and repression of the media. The OSC claimed that the Tajik government censored Tajik and foreign websites and instituted tax inspections on independent printing houses that led to the cessation of printing activities for a number of independent newspapers. Russian border troops were stationed along the Tajik-Afghan border until summer 2005. Since the September 11, 2001 attacks, 
French troops have been stationed at the Dushanbe airport in support of air operations of NATO's International Security Assistance Force in Afghanistan. United States Army and Marine Corps personnel periodically visit Tajikistan to conduct joint training missions of up to several weeks' duration. The government of India rebuilt the Aini Air Base, a military airport located 15 kilometers southwest of Dushanbe, at a cost of $70 million. Completing the repairs in September 2010, it is now the main base of the Tajikistan Air Force. There have been talks with Russia concerning use of the Aini facility, and Russia continues to maintain a large base on the outskirts of Dushanbe. In 2010, there were concerns among Tajik officials that Islamic militarism in the east of the country was on the rise following the escape of 25 militants from a Tajik prison in August, an ambush that killed 28 Tajik soldiers in the Rash Valley in September, and another ambush in the valley in October that killed 30 soldiers, followed by fighting outside Garm that left three militants dead. To date the country's interior ministry asserts that the central government maintains full control over the country's east, and the military operation in the Rash Valley was concluded in November 2010. However, fighting erupted again in July 2012. In 2015 Russia will send more troops to Tajikistan, as confirmed by a report of Stratfa in May 2015. Tajikistan's national security suffered a serious setback when Colonel Gulmurod Kalimov, commander of the Special Purpose Police Unit of the Interior Ministry, defected to the Islamic State. Politics Almost immediately after independence, Tajikistan was plunged into a civil war that saw various factions, allegedly backed by Russia and Iran, fighting one another. All but 25,000 of the more than 400,000 ethnic Russians, who were mostly employed in industry, fled to Russia. By 1997, the war had cooled down, and a central government began to take form, with peaceful elections in 1999. Long-time observers of Tajikistan often characterize the country as profoundly averse to risk and skeptical of promises of reform. A political passivity they trace to the country's ruinous civil war, Ilan Greenberg wrote in a news article in the New York Times just before the country's November 2006 presidential election. Tajikistan is officially a republic and holds elections for the presidency and parliament. It is, however, a dominant party system, where the People's Democratic Party of Tajikistan routinely has a vast majority in parliament. Emma Mali I. Rahman has held the office of president continually since November 1994. The prime minister is Kokir Rasul Zoda. The first deputy prime minister is Matlab Khandav Latif and the two deputy prime ministers are Muro Dali Alamardan and Rukia Kurbanova. The parliamentary elections in 2005 aroused many accusations from opposition parties and international observers that President Emma Mali I. Rahman corruptly manipulates the election process and unemployment. The most recent elections, in February 2010, saw the ruling PDPT lose four seats in parliament, yet still maintain a comfortable majority. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe election observers said the 2010 polling failed to meet many key OSCE commitments and that these elections failed on many basic democratic standards. The government insisted that only minor violations had occurred, which would not affect the will of the Tajik people. The presidential election held on November 6, 2006 was boycotted by mainline opposition parties, including the 23,000-member Islamic Renaissance Party. Four remaining opponents all but endorsed the incumbent, Rahman. Tajikistan gave Iran its support in Iran's membership bid to join the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. After a meeting between the Tajik president and the Iranian foreign minister, freedom of the press is ostensibly officially guaranteed by the government, but independent press outlets remain restricted, as does a substantial amount of web content. 
According to the Institute for War and Peace Reporting, access is blocked to local and foreign websites including avastar.tj, tjknews.com, fergana.ru, centrasia.ru and journalists are often obstructed from reporting on controversial events. In practice, no public criticism of the regime is tolerated and all direct protest is severely suppressed and does not receive coverage in the local media. Geography Tajikistan is landlocked, and is the smallest nation in Central Asia by area. It lies mostly between latitudes 36 degrees and 41 degrees north, and longitudes 67 degrees and 75 degrees east. It is covered by mountains of the Pamir Range, and more than 50% of the country is over 3,000 meters above sea level. The only major areas of lower land are in the north, and in the southern Kofar Nahong and Vaksh river valleys, which form the Amu Daya. Doshanbur is located on the southern slopes above the Kofar Nahong Valley. The Amu Daya and Panj rivers mark the border with Afghanistan, and the glaciers in Tajikistan's mountains are the major source of runoff for the Aral Sea. There are over 900 rivers in Tajikistan longer than 10 kilometers. Administrative divisions Tajikistan consists of four administrative divisions. These are the provinces of Sughd and Katlon, the autonomous province of Gorno Badakhshan, and the region of Republican subordination. Each region is divided into several districts, which in turn are subdivided into jamots and then villages. As of 2006, there were 58 districts and 367 jamots in Tajikistan. Lakes About 2% of the country's area is covered by lakes, the best known of which are the following. K. Rakam Reservoir, Iskandikul, Kulikalon, Nurik Reservoir, Karakul, Serez, Shadow Lake, Zorkul.